Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of the Wild. This is Michael Two and Seven, and I just got done taking down a group of enemies at the um, the El the Elden Great Skeleton. It's actually named like that on the map. Yeah, it is named like that. So we're on the very, very northern edge of Hyrule, and I am. Um, really going to be traversing this part of the map that's really right outside of Elden and right on real, really the northern edge of the map. Um, just seeing what I can locate here. Is that another linnel? That's totally another linnel. What was that other sound? I don't know if you heard that. That's like a crazy windy sound. I don't know if that was a linnel making that sound. I kind of doubt it. I am not going to fight another little right now. I'm sorry. Not feeling it right now. We had enough fun at the end of the last episode. So I am going to smartly stay away from that. You know, I don't know if I'm going to really locate any shrines just out of the blue up in this part of the map. I'm not very optimistic about that. Um... I mean, I know for sure there's that one in the forest, which is really where I'm heading towards. Let me show you where I'm ultimately heading towards. This forest right here. It, I mean, it, it's not labeled as a forest. Actually, is this even the forest I'm thinking of? It should be. The Typh... What is that? Typhola Ruins. That is my destination. So, I hope to find a shrine along the way. So I can get a full set of spirit orders because I need two more to have a another set of four. Is that sound again? What is that? Oh, it's one of those Octorox. Okay, it's one of those Octorox that uh, you pretty much just see in Elden that suck up and they they hide under rocks and you can throw bombs into them. So that sounds just them sucking up their air. So not as big of a threat as I thought. Just gonna keep traveling along this way. Unfortunately, I don't have a horse to make things go a little faster. Um, why did I have to ditch my horse? I ditched my horse against the linnel, and I never really went back for it. At this point, there's no way I'm close enough. Yeah, there's no way I'm close enough. So we'll just have to do the rest of this on foot. We're heading into kind of a dead wooded area here with some dead trees. A dead bird. Oh, I need to switch that. I don't know why I have that out. I guess I had it out against all those enemies I was fighting earlier. That would make sense. Again, the good thing about these multi-shot um, those multi-shot bows is that they don't use up the number of arrows that they shoot. They just use up one arrow per shot, whether it's a five shot or a three shot or a two shot, whatever. You gonna make noise? Having a lot of easy kills right now with all these animals. Unfortunately, that was my last normal arrow. I'm sure I have some fire arrows and stuff laying around. Let me just switch to that. Not gonna use one, of course. I hope that when I get to that um, Typhloa Ruins, I'm not going to need any arrows. I don't think I will. Um, don't want to give anything away about right now. It's mostly... It's not really combat-oriented, so I shouldn't really need any specific kind of arrows. I want kind of want to head up a little bit, so I'm going to do some... Uh, Revali's Gale. Here is a um, Korok. So that's good. If I can solve it, that is. Let's get this out and see where the block is. So we have it right there. And I think it's just gonna go... Well, hold on. We have one pointing out. Let's see. I think it just goes right up here to the right. Yeah, 
I really pay close, close attention to these because the, the way they're facing isn't exactly... Yeah, see, that was wrong. It looks right. No, it's supposed to be one down here to the left, too. Um, let me go around. Maybe it needs to be... Hold on. Okay, so this is where it was originally. I'm going to put it back to where it was originally. I almost feel like I need two of these. i never seen anything like that, so it can't be the case. Maybe filling a hole... Hold on. Oh, what we ought to be one is one zinc match. Maybe going into, like... Going in between one of these might help. I see a couple spots I can do that. So that if I go, come on. It's always tough to get into one of these crevices. If I approach it this way, I can get it in there. Oh, this is fun. Come on. Do I have to be so perfect? So if you get it in there, like. You know, like, once you try to press it in, it gets stuck, and then you have to pull out. Okay, is that good? It's obviously not good. Let me try over here. To the right. Oh, no. Don't do this. Don't do this. Can I whack him with this? I cannot. Here, let me get rid of him. That's a good place to use my arrows. They don't keep coming up. Okay, I really don't want to spend an hour on this. I really don't. Come on, just work. What? Oh, it got stuck up there. Oh, there it is, right there. Okay. And a small cut there, I guess, because I thought I was going to be spending a lot more time on that than I thought. So, I don't really want to explain how that worked. It was just trying different spots, and sometimes it's just what you have to do. Whatever. Like, let me make sure I know which way I'm going before I keep going. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, the shrine sensor should have a pretty big range, so I don't think I'm missing too much by not going too far up and down. I don't know. Um, it's a tough call out here. I'm going to try to get a good mix of going up the mountain and down the mountain a little bit. Because, I mean, again, you just don't know what you're missing going both ways. Where am I looking at here? What is that? Is that a camp? That's a, it looks like a pretty big camp. It wouldn't hurt to go a little higher so I could get a better view of everything. So I might actually head up to that camp and take it on. Since I chickened out on that little earlier, now I can get a, a chance to have some action right here. So, I will go fight that. It will give me a good vantage point to look ahead and see what, where I can go from there and see if I can locate anything. Shrine-wise or whatever. Don't shoot any arrows at any random animal smearing out. This ought to be a good... Oh, come on, three of them? Really? Three of them? At least they don't have any weapons, so... Oh, it broke. Ooh, I didn't realize I was about to break. Yeah, at least they don't... Re oh, that guy has a sword, though. I gotta look out for him. And that guy's using the other dude's arm. Careful with that. Just knock him down, and I'll happily take your sword. Okay. Um, let's keep heading this way. Excuse the interruption. Okay, I'd be careful. What am I really looking at here? This is a rather big camp I got here. This will not be any picnic. It doesn't, at least it doesn't look like it's going to be easy. Is that a moblin just laid down? Get out of here. What was that? Something just laid down. Oh, that was a 
go. I thought that was a moblin laying down to go to sleep. Can I just run up and kill you? No, I'll let you go. I don't really care. Yeah, but I don't have, I, I'm not really going to use fire arrows or anything on, like that on the animals. Uh-oh. Someone is suspicious of me. What are you? Bacalan. He blew his horn. He knows I'm here. How do you have that good eyesight? Damn, that's not good. Oh no, what? Are they all just archers? Not shooting at me. Well. I really don't intend on shooting too many shots at them. Do I have anything other than fire arrows? Let's use. Ooh, I got a lot of bomb arrows I can use. This could be fun. I'm a little bit farther out than I thought I was. There we go. I don't expect that to kill, but at least maybe knock them off their perch. That would be nice. Not firing back, so that's good. Oh, I got rid of that guy. That's cool. Okay, we'll get rid of him over here. Go ahead, keep blowing your horn. Your friends aren't fighting me. Not yet, anyway. I'll happily take your bow. I need some just regular bows. This is fun fighting the guys with bomb arrows. I don't really mind that. No, not to go to my pause thing. I wish there was an easier way to switch your bow out. Yeah. I feel like that's the only way to go to your pause screen to do that. I hear someone's still sleeping. Yeah, I feel like that's the only thing I can use right now is bomb arrows. It feels a little bit excessive and unnecessary, but it's what I have the most of. So I might as well use them. I'll happily take whatever arrows they have. One problem is I'm blowing them away, so... Um, I don't really have the chance to go find what arrows they were carrying, if they're carrying any. Yeah, I still hear things sleeping. It's weird. That's so nice. A headshot takes them out. One shot. One shot. Can I climb up here, please? There's gotta be something good up here. I mean, this is a very heavily decorated camp up here, so there's gotta be something good up here. Do I have a chance to sneak? I do. I, think, I guess there are Malwins up here that are still sleeping? It sounds like they're still sleeping, so they must not have been alerted to the Bacoblins blowing their horns. I'm a little bit surprised by that, to say the least. Uh-oh. Sounds like somebody might have woke up. What kind of weapon do I got? I do not want to be using it. I'll just get my mask sorted out and do a... No! Why'd you do that? Whatever, fine, we'll go head to head. Oh, what the hell was that? What the hell was that? Why didn't I get any dodges on him? I dodged at the point that I think I... Oh, this is not good. I gotta get out of here. This is super dangerous. Ooh, that was bad. I can't believe that! There are two stupid things that happened there. First of all, he I, I, I had to call my horse at the perfect time. And two... I should have gotten a, if a, a a perfect dodge there. I should have gotten that. There's no way that that didn't work. And now I'm forced to eat something. That is so aggravating. I I I feel like that perfect dodge is flawed in a way. It just feels like it's not timed the way it's supposed to be. Am I being a chicken shit here about that or? Do you, do you agree with me? Because I feel like sometimes when I time it, I time it way too early, but I get it. And then other times I feel like I'm timing it perfectly and I don't get it. I don't... And maybe I'm trying to adjust to the weird timing of it? I don't even know. Let me try this again. I'm just going to barge in there. I don't even care. Here, we'll get... Couple, oh, a couple bomb shots in, if I can. Yeah, good, good job. You are great at this game. You're just fantastic at the game. Come on, you can do this. Now 
dodge. Yeah, see, that was way too late. He was, he's at the end of his swing, and I did the perfect dodge on him. You see what I mean? You can do it when they're at the end of their swing, or they're right at the beginning of their swing, but right when the weapon's about to hit you and you do it, it doesn't give you the perfect dodge. I don't understand. Watch. Okay, that was maybe... Oh, that was just bad timing. I'm actually... I'm, I'm, I'm legitimately trying to pull it off here. Okay, now it's just doing kicks on me. I gotta get out of here because the sword's gonna beat me up. If I can get a shot up. Maybe not. I have to just lure him down now. Mm, let me get some apples. Do I have some apples? I don't want to eat any of my good food, so I'll just pretty much finish off my apples. Why not at this point? Okay. I'm surprised at how little apples I have. I really need to get to picking those. I guess because my other playthrough, I spent more time picking apples. Where here, I'm trying to keep things moving. That's why I don't have very many apples. Okay, come on. Just stop trying to do a perfect dodge. Stop trying to be fancy. There we go. That's more like it. Blow him up. Nah. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Help, help him out a little bit by lighting his weapon on fire. Okay, come on. We can do this. We can do this. Where's my Oh, my master sword crapped out, didn't it? Okay, well, we'll go to this. Ooh, okay, that worked. See, that was timed right. That was timed right. I have no issue with that. But other times I feel like I time it right after he's done swinging. Or right before he starts swinging. It's weird. I don't know how to explain it. Oh, whatever. I'm about done. I'll blow you up. Or just here, finish you like this. See, that should have been a perfect dodge right there. Granted, I, I still didn't get hit, but I don't, I don't know. I don't understand. I'm probably never going to understand, and I'll just get over it. Please tell me I get something good for all that. This is a very elaborate base type of thing, so... Ooh, it gives me a good view of everything, too. I think I see a, um... Yeah, that's a maze up there in the distance. Let me show you that. Is that the one right next to Hebra? This, is, this should be a maze right here. You see that square-like structure? Let me... Kind of go ahead. Yeah, that's right there. That's what I'm looking at. That's right by Hebra. That's the shrine in itself, so I could go for that after I go into the woods here. I'm right next to that right now. Okay, so I'm up high. I'm going to take advantage of my good view now and just look around with and without the, the zoom. Let's see. Ooh, in our chest over here. Okay, I'm glad I caught that. Well, I get a ruby and a sapphire, so you get some pretty good money from, from that, so I'm not too disappointed. Um, yeah, and really not much else to do. Now, this dark, misty um, mass down here, this, like, this dark mistiness down there, that is where I'm heading. So I'm just going to head go for it. I'm going to jump right down there. I guess that's going to be what we do starting next episode, isn't it? I mean, I still have about 20 minutes of exploration to do here. Guess I'll just jump on in. I really am not looking forward to this, but I have to do it. It's a for sure shrine. It's just going to be a pain in the ass to get to. Okay, no more bomb arrows. Can I get some normal arrows? Hold on. Let's see. Or at least something that's not gonna blow me up. Ice arrows are fine. Actually, fire arrows would be good to have, too. See, fire arrows would be good in this section, and you'll see why in just a little bit. Now, there's supposed to be a specific entrance, so I don't... I just want to kind of circle around for now. Still looking out elsewhere to see if I can locate anything else, any other shrines, if I can get anything going into the going into this place. Something, some kind of wild card. I would hope that I wouldn't have to rely on both this shrine quest 
being these dark woods. That's really what it is, is a dark woods type of thing. And then that maze over there. I really would like to just locate a shrine hidden away somewhere. And not have to go through this big, crazy shrine quest to get to a shrine. But it's looking to be that way right now. So I guess that's what we're getting into. Is this the entrance? It kind of looks like it. Yep, that's the entrance. Traver from Freedom in the Woods, you now face the trial. Please find the shrine. They didn't say please find the shrine, but you know what I mean. What just happened? Did I land in the mud and get warped out of it? What? Wh what's the point of that? Can I approach it a different way? Oh, I can't walk there. Okay, I guess I just kind of... Yeah, there's some mud right there, so I gotta find a different way to get into it. I mean, I guess I can find a way to jump. Oh, there's a bridge over there. That works, too. That works, too. Okay. Oh, boy. I hope this doesn't go too long. This could be m at least an hour of time spent in here. I'm not looking forward to it at all, but we have to do it eventually. So you're going to be giving a torch right away. You can tell what's happening here, folks. We have a pitch black forest to explore and find our way through. Um, and you just got to locate the shrine in the middle of it somewhere. It's here somewhere. So what you really want to do is just run around and... Um, light any torch you see, any stationary torch you see. It's a way to march for, to, to mark where you've been. You cannot really use the same strategy as you use in the Lost Woods where you followed the way the embers went. Because there are no embers on the torches here. And then, yeah, this happens. You'll get a bunch of keys in here. So you have no choice really to unlight your torch and relight it. I mean, you could fight him with the lit torch, I guess, but I don't want to break it. That's the thing. I mean, yeah, I guess there are other torches hidden around here you can pick up. Really, it's probably just best to try your to try your best to ignore the keys when they come up. So, gosh, I don't really have a strategy for doing this other than just lighting all the torches and wandering around like a madman. I mean... Oh, I'm letting it distract me. That's not good. And I don't have any... See, th when I did this in my first playthrough, I had a fire rod. This time I don't have that. So I'm just literally in the dark here. I should have just let that kept that torch lit. I really shouldn't let these things distract me. I just said don't let them distract you, and I just let them distract me. So now I'm screwed. I mean, what else do you expect me to do in this situation? Nothing. So I can pull this out. Just kind of swing it every now and then. Oh, here's an idea. I got an idea. I got an idea. Let me get that back out. Let me get a thing of wood out. Pray to God that I have it. Um, here we go. I only have five things of wood. I might need to prepare for this. Slash at that. That will light that. And then I'm going to get my torch back out. And I'm just going to ignore any keys that come by. I don't care. I don't even care if they do any damage to me. I don't care. I'll take the damage they do to me. And the slowdown they do to the game. Actually, that was just a loading slowdown. Oh, there are Hinoxes in here. Whoa, what's going on with the game? Was that the keys doing that, or...? I mean, they're not bothering me now. I, I hear a Hinox. Yeah, there's a Hinox in here. Now, when you get to the Hinox, you'll know that you're close to the shrine, so that's actually a good sign that I hear that. There's a weapon there, but I'm not gonna... Oh, does he drop the torch when I pick up the weapon? Well, I don't have any room for melee weapons anyway. 
don't really care about that. If I can find a fire rod or a meteor rod, I'll definitely drop something. Yeah, the wolves are going to have to just wander around me. I'm not going to drop my weapons anymore. Or my torch. Oh, boy. I see something up ahead. Something that's lit. Where am I? Uh, can I light these red leaves on fire? Hold on. Keep that down there. Get out of that. Okay, I don't remember this at all. Another torch. Not that I really can use it right now. How does that help me? I'm tempted to climb up that now. Now that I did that, I can light this fire. Well, now that that's close by, um, I can come back and light my torch again. Ooh, this, okay, that, that's good. That's good. I might want to pick that up. Hold on, let me put that away and drop something. Or in this case, throw something. The sickle blade can go. Get that for future use. But right now, I'll light my torch again. Or not. But yes, climb that. Is there any way I can not... Oh, I guess I'm stuck with that. Okay, well, then I'll take this out, then. Ugh, this is annoying. I have to go blind here for a little bit. Should I? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, this is what I'm going to go with for now. Oh, it doesn't say lit. This is annoying. Okay, I see something fiery in the distance. Can I get to that red spark? This is bad for video, but you just can't, like, you can't see what the hell is going on. Neither can I, though, so. What is that? Is that fire or? It looks like a ruby. Can I get up to it? I'm trying to find something to climb on. Here. Yeah, it's something I have to climb to get to that. Oh my god, this is so aggravating. Get in our just get another thing of wood out. I don't care. I really don't care. I'm just gonna waste all of it. Oops. <laughs> now I lit myself on fire. That's nice of you. So I didn't even really need to put that wood down then. That was nice of you, game. This is very nice of you. I feel like I just went in a circle now. See, this is the edge. You gotta be careful. Because, um, at the edge of this whole mass here, there's mud that you sink in. So once you step in it, you're back to the beginning. So you have to be careful with that. Uh, what was that that I was looking at? Are you serious? Why did I put the torch out? Why did the torch go out there? I don't understand that. Ask Sword's Fire's back. Oh, goodness. I don't know what to do. I really do not know what to do here. I gotta try to listen to Hinox again. That's really what I gotta do, and just follow that sound. I mean, this is, this is in our punishment section of the game. I think this is just flat-out punishment. I'm not going to be able to talk much during this, because I'm going to need to have my ears open. I see a luminous stone up there. I hear something snoring. Let me light that. I feel like I'm getting close. I really do. I feel like I'm getting close. Is that a meteor rod, or is that just a regular fire? Oh, it's fire rod. Okay, I need that. And I'm gonna light this right here. I can't carry more weapons, so I'll get rid of something else. How's about you? You're about to break. I'll definitely take that and use it sparingly, though. Since I have a fire right here, I'll light my torch again. Oh, those aren't luminous stones. Those are just 
glowing lights to kind of show me where I'm at. Well, that helps. What's happening? Something is trying to attack me. <gasps> Don't get in there. That's the edge. Oh, are there... Is that, like, a real... Ed yeah, that is a Levalfo. No thanks, game. I'll fight you in the dark, I don't care. Are you as strong as Alpha? What was that? I don't even know what that was. Let me go back here and light my torch again. Oh, I'm gonna have to end this episode right now. Okay. Next time on Breath of the Wild, we're just gonna keep being in the dark forest. I don't know how many episodes this is gonna last. It could last multiple episodes, like three or four. I hope not, but we'll see. I'll see you next time, folks.